Good day. Welcome to the Gulf News Update for Monday, July the 25th. Here are the top stories at this hour. U.S. Democrats scramble to contain damaging revelations of an insider effort to hobble Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign, with the party boss abruptly announcing her resignation on the eve of the convention to officially nominate Hillary Clinton. Debbie Wasserman Schultz said she would step down at the end of the convention, a move that aimed to put an end to the scandal-threatening and uneasy truce within the fractured party. Thousands of Democratic delegates were converging on Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, to elevate Clinton as the party's nominee, who will battle Republican Donald Trump in the November election. The Rajasthan High Court has acquitted Bollywood actor Salman Khan in two poaching cases from 18 years ago. Khan had appealed to the Jodhpur bench of the High Court, challenging a lower court verdict which sentenced him for poaching a black buck and a chinkara, a type of gazelle in two separate incidents. Chris Froome of Britain survived two crashes, severe storms, an uphill dash on foot, and a daredevil descent to become the winner of the Tour de France for a third time. With the victory, Froome, the leader of Team Sky, cemented his status as a cyclist without peer and Sky as cycling's top team. Will Smith will attend a Dubai screening of his supervillain film Suicide Squad on August 7th. The actor who plays the character Deadshot in the DC film will be at a screening in City Center Dira to launch the venue's Vox Max Cinema, which features the largest screen in the MENA region at 408 square meters. Fans can only get passes to the screening via competitions. The film goes on general release in the UAE on August 5th. And finally weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 46 degrees Celsius, dropping to 34 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can get the latest news at golfnews.com.